हजारों साल दरगिस अपनी बेनूरी पर होती है बड़ी मुश्किल से होता है चमन में दी दवर पैदा And I am lucky that I am associated with it as professor. 150 years, more than a century and a half, is the story of the स एज ओल्ड एज मोहम्मद एंग्लो ओरियंटल कॉलेज विच वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन एटीन सेवेंटी सेवन एंड लेटर बिकेम द अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सच अ लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री is evident of the fact that it has witnessed the development of english studies in india this is a place where the department of english was started as a part of the mohammedan anglo oriental college since its establishment the curriculum of the department of english has changed from time to time depending on the government policies and provisions various demands of time learners needs and job opportunities When the Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College was established in 1877, Sir Syed Ahmed Khan appointed native speakers for the Department of English. Uh, there were uh, very rich syllabi uh, which were designed for the nine classes which were introduced in Mohammedan Anglo Oriental College, and uh, the primacy was given to the English language. basically the four language skills of the english language in 1920s when the aligarh muslim university came into emergence uh, there were three types of courses which were introduced general english english literature and english language and literature what we call today compulsory english english main and english subsidiary Sy- almost same type of syllabi were uh, introduced in 1920 and there was a balance of literature and language content in the syllabi in 1960s the three year degree course was introduced by the government of india in the independent india and accordingly the uh, choices the changes in the curriculum were made in the department of english curriculum our department is a space where we unleash the power of literature we run a number of programs uh phd programs are two in number one is literature one is elt we also have ma programs again one in literature and one in elt at the undergraduate level we have two programs as well one in english literature and one in communicative english Apart from this we teach uh, general english to almost all the students in the university The english only program that we have is very special it it re- represents our fervor for outreach activities Trust areas and phd programs in the department of english embody uh, latest areas of research in uh, english literature and language teaching Uh, besides that recently we have been focusing on digital humanities and artificial intelligence course the curricula in the department of english introduces new age discourses like critical thinking collaborative and uh, participatory learning project based instruction use of ict and moocs uh, competency based practice outcome based uh, learning life skills internship and outreach activities through these uh, uh, practices we have been very innovative in terms of teaching and learning and evaluation in the department of english a committed team of 36 faculty members in the main department along with 10 members faculty members from women's college are engaged in teaching and research with a purpose to keeping alive the interest in various genres of literature in students coming from as diverse disciplines as engineering law commerce physical and natural sciences social sciences and humanities the emphasis on modification revision of syllabus frequently in tune with the changing times 
and academic debates is a redeeming feature of this department. The allocation of courses and its distribution is based on the duly constituted allocation and timetable committees. The department gives space to its teachers to make their preferences for courses. It is then vetted by the allocation committee objectively and then approved by the Board of Studies. The timetable is then prepared keeping the workload allocated or as per the UGC guidelines. The spirit of teamwork bring to light that production, dissemination and reception of knowledge are the result of collective effort rather than a solitary and individual pursuit. The Department of English, Aligarh Mission University exemplifies all this. I am teaching in the Women's College of the University. As teachers, we are all members of the Board of Study. Um, the students of the Women's College are basically uh, pursuing the undergraduate course. The syllabus is the same and they are actively participating in all the curricular and extracurricular uh, activities of the university. In the English section in Women's College, we have 40 students in English literature class, 25 students in the communicative English class. We take care of approximately 600 students in the subsidiary English and about 2000 students in our compulsory English classes every semester. As per the ordinances of the university, the Department of English has adopted the uh, credit-based choice system for continuous assessment and evaluation for in semester exams. The grievances of the students, if any, are promptly settled by the department. As faculty, we take pride in the robustness with which the department runs. Our emphasis on academic and scholastic nurturing of our students is reflected in debates and discussions seminars and presentations, internships and outreach programs, besides theory classes. The department in its present state is a constant reminder of the commitment and contribution of our retired faculty members to teaching and learning, as well as our former chairpersons who steered the department in a focused way to make it academically strong and vibrant. Recently, our department has undergone a major re revision for the syllabi and in fact I should call it a rehashing uh, which has given a very, very, very distinctive shape to our syllabi. The syllabi at present encompasses almost all the discourses of the world to represent different cultures, different thought processes, different philosophies, different literary traditions and of course the literary trends. For example, some of them are, you know, uh, we can count it from the, from the beginning, that is from Chaucer to the 21st century. And uh, we have new trends also like Scandinavian literature and post-colonial literatures, uh, Afro-American literatures, African literatures, uh, Latin American literatures, literatures in translation and literatures from various other parts of the world. In fact, you know, there is hardly any part of the world where English has been written about and we do not have its representation. The other important dimension of this syllabi is that keeping in, keeping in league with the contemporary things, we are initiating various, uh, we, are, we are initiating the incorporation in the paradigms of research and pedagogy, the different, uh, different theoretical paradigms Areas of studies like performance culture, artificial intelligence, theatre studies, cinema studies and such other uh, disability studies, all these have added more dimensions to the syllabi and teachers and students have found new areas to grow in. So it's indeed a very very rich syllabi now. Now the another thing that I must add is that the syllabus is, uh, syllabus in, in all is an embodiment of of a literariness of assimilative kind. It has a pan-theoretical intersectionality, it has open-endedness and of course it has a very very inclusive, inclusive aura and it is structured with all the latest 
discourses of pedagogical formulations like we have uh, it is structured with uh, you know when this when the syllabi was being formed the workshop module was adopted and that gave a very very interesting shape the syllabi each each paper in the syllabi comprises the aims and objectives the essential readings the suggested readings and of course the learning outcomes so i believe you know that english department has been relentlessly working to develop various kinds of things and contribute in english studies and we are open to all kinds of uh, you know such similar discourses in the future as well um, the department of english runs a course in ba communicative english which is a very which started in 1990s and there were pioneers in the department who had started this course and it is a very relevant course and students do their MA ELT after having done this and they get absorbed in a number of uh, areas and in a number of fields, different fields after having done this course. The recent uh, revision of the syllabus has provided me an opportunity to teach uh, papers like African literature and uh, Latin American literature. To me, the Department of English means upholding the legacy of high ideals and values while at the same time striving to achieve an academically uh, challenging environment. If we map the stages of ELT development at the Department of English, AMU, we will see that it owes its rich legacy to Sir Sayyid Amal Khan's vision of introducing English to meet the communicative needs of the students. The Department of English offering MA ELT program and BA Communicative English program have made this program very special in the sense that it caters to the employment and communicative needs of the students. Students join this program from all over the world, especially from South Asian countries, West Asian countries, as it offers employment and access opportunities, not only in India, but all over the world. MA English program, MA ELT program, has established itself as a premier program in the country. And in doing so, the department has upgraded its curriculum. It has uh, provided greater opportunities, field experience, and outreach activities to the students who are offering this program. I would just like to add one point to what already has been spoken of by others. And that is the Department of English has made a uh, constant effort to consistently upgrade the uh, fiction syllabi uh, spreading across all over, all over the world. For example, we can see that we have uh, the latest revision, we have added uh, uh, Caribbean literature, Latin American literature, British fiction has also been uh, uh, added previously, so on and so forth. So this is I feel. It's a very welcome addition to the, to the entire purpose of the life. Uh, Post-colonialism, uh, South Asian literature and uh, British poetry and fiction, world classics, these are the papers that I'm teaching at present. Uh, recently, the department has undergone uh, various changes at the level of the syllabi and uh, we have moved away uh, in a happy move. We have got, come away from the British literature and uh, there is more emphasis on the Indian literature, South Asian writings, uh, vernaculars in translation. And uh, I think it feels like uh, coming home finally in, in the language English. The Department of English, Aligarh Muslim University, is one of my many loves. I've been teaching here for a very long time. I love teaching. Communication is, uh, I presume, one of my assets. I teach a number of papers. My specialization happens to be modern poetry, but I teach a lot of other things besides. I teach the romantics, I teach, um, well, um, contemporary literary theory, the background to it, that is, 
and uh, the teaching of literature. The purpose of university must serve is not only to impart knowledge but also to produce it. And it also aims at uh, developing individuals into all rounded personalities uh, for which we need extracurricular activities. We have two important fora in the Department of English. Number one, we have the Raleigh Literary Society, uh, which uh, is a platform for the students to uh, come to and uh, hone their creative writing skills, script writing, story writing, poetry recitation. And they organize uh, programs like um, debate, seminar presentation, and they also invite uh, uh, people to uh, deliver lectures. Uh, it's a platform where students uh, also learn organizational skills. That's a very important aspect of this uh, society. There's another society, there's another forum we have here that is the discussion group, which uh, provides students to um, provide students uh, an opportunity to uh, have panel discussions and um, be aware of the uh, new developments in the world and also especially have panel discussions about uh, topics related with their discipline. So at Aligarh Muslim University we have the latest uh, papers which deal with critical thinking and uh, which include digital humanities, papers in digital literature, post-colonialism, subaltern studies, uh, feminism, various papers on area studies and I'm sure that you will enjoy your stay in Aligarh Muslim University uh, with our entire faculty. The Department of English is therefore I am. The Department of English has been uh, such an important place for me. I cannot think of my life independent of the Department of English, my colleagues, my students, my former teachers, and of course some students who have just uh, entered the department. I consider myself uh, an important link in this great chain which started with the the establishment of the Department of English and this great chain will continue. The department is very important for me. It's sort of a lifeline for me because I got my higher education here and uh, very uh, some wonderful teachers. Then it gave me job and my identity and uh, empowered me financially as well. And uh, I have had uh, wonderful students uh, Apart from the traditional papers, I got the opportunity of teaching uh, Dalit literature uh, and designed its syllabus and uh, this particular paper has found uh, interest, favor amongst the students. They like it very much because it talks about the marginal writings and uh, I'm also into eco-critical writings these days. It has been a great privilege for me to have studied this great university a greater privilege that uh, I now I'm teaching here and uh, from day to day I meet students from different parts of the world and they are very eager to learn and they are very eager to learn about new fields of study and uh, that's why I am teaching two areas here comparative literature and uh, creative writing. The Department of English uh, for me is not a workplace uh, as it has really added a vitality and meaningful dimension to my identity and to my existence overall. Uh, I've been given assignment to teach uh, various uh, undergraduate and postgraduate courses but uh, I have chosen to motivate students to come to elective courses which I have specially designed for them. And the one is on the sufferings of the prisoners, that is prison literature, which has its own you know, uh, agenda of social change and it has attracted students of, uh, you know, in huge numbers, they have started choosing this paper. And my own interest in performance studies, so students are also choosing a special paper, Shakespeare in Performance, so we are showing them or especially training them to understand the difference between literature as a script and literature and its you know, special uh, implication as performance. 
am teaching here a paper post Shakespearean drama for undergraduate student of English literature stream. Besides that, I am also taking two papers of communicative English stream that is print media and English for business. Other than uh, teaching and research, the Department of English also takes care of the placement of the students in collaboration with the training and placement office of the university. And our graduates, most of the people who are careerist in their uh, orientation, they want to get placed. Almost uh, we have placed 100% of them in the last few years. The Department of English offers a range of courses at both the UG and PG level. Uh, offering insights uh, into critical theory. Uh, I would like to especially mention the three papers offered by me uh, in order to orient the students accordingly. They are Politics of English Studies, Contemporary Critical Theory and Introduction to Concept Studies. The Department of English has given me uh, a perspective in life. It has given me the opportunity to teach and mentor young minds and conduct research at the same time. I have introduced the course of eco-criticism in the department over here, which is the need for today. The department for me is a community uh, where we respect uh, each other's vision and uh, values. Uh, besides engaging uh, uh, undergraduate programs, I'm also engaging few promising courses in MALT. Before coming to Aligarh Muslim University, I had only heard of its legacy. But after joining the campus as a faculty, I feel extremely fortunate to be a part of this campus. One of the papers that I teach at the undergraduate level is seminar presentation. Uh, I teach uh, a wide range of courses uh, uh, from general English to MA English. The Department of English is a very I mean, prominent place for learning and research. And its primary aim is basically to enhance the academic and professional skills of the students. The Department of English provides services to various programs in the university. Besides teaching in the Department of English, I teach to the BA students in the Faculty of Engineering and Technology. For me, Department is a place that has helped me meet my potentials and skills because my work impacts the lives of so many students. In the department, I have been engaging classes at both the undergraduate and postgraduate level. At postgraduate level, I have taught African literature as an elective paper. I teach a variety of courses here at the Department of English, Aligarh Muslim University. I teach compulsory English, I teach the bachelor's degree courses as well as the master's degree courses. My specialization is in theatre and performance studies as well as Indian and Western aesthetics. For me this department is like a space for academic progress and more like a second home where I usually get a chance to interact with scholarly colleagues and interested students. Besides MAELT, I teach General English in Faculty of Commerce and Faculty of Science. Department of English is a place where talent deals. I take undergraduate classes at the Women's College. I'm teaching here various papers as well literature, British and American literature. The department has given me a lot. It's the source of my growth, my empowerment. Basically, I teach there at Women's College, but the department was kind enough to involve me in its MA teaching program. I'm teaching English language and literature at Women's College. Uh, and I'm teaching a number of papers here, but my favorite is British literature because I always feel elated whenever I get to teach uh, Shakespeare. I'm teaching in the Department of English and my specialization is English language teaching. For me, the department needs to be a space where my thoughts and ideas about various concepts in literature, society and culture get voiced, checked and enriched. My area of specialization is English language teaching and my areas of interest are phonetics, linguistics, language skills, uh, technology assisted language learning and English language teaching of course. I teach general English, world classics, poetry, prose besides a guiding project work at the undergraduate level. I teach at the Department of English. My area of specialization is performing arts and literary theories. Along with general English, I teach British literature and world classics. 
I teach general English paper to students of BA, BSc and BCom. I have also taught uh, literature paper uh, like Old English, World Literature and English Fiction and Drama. The Department of English runs various projects. Uh, we, a uh, couple of years back, we completed uh, UGC DRS uh, Phase 1 and uh, we are continued with UGC DRS Phase 2 on Translation Studies. Besides, in the last one year, we have been awarded four Gyan projects and one UGC project. The Department of English has been quite innovative in its practices. We uh, adopt such practices as uh, outcome-based learning, uh, life, life skills, employability skills, uh, communication skills, uh, projects for the students. Uh, through these skills, our students get a better opportunity in their placement in various uh, job uh, markets. हाँ मुझे काफी एक्सपीरियंस मिला 25 साल का एक्सपीरियंस है यहाँ पर और यहाँ के सारे टीचर्स जितने भी रिसर्च कर रहे हैं जो जूनियर्स एंड सीनियर हैं बड़ी हार्ड वर्कर और 24 आवर्स रिसर्च वर्क करा रहे हैं यहाँ पर मैं एम वर्किंग एस एमटीएस लाइब्रेरी अटेंडेंट इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश I consider myself lucky that I am working under the guidance of Professor Rizwan Khan, who is very hard working and competent. I enjoy myself working in the Department of English. I am Rukaiya, working as MTS Office Services in the Department of English. The teaching and non-teaching staff of the department is very good, and the chairperson of the department is very hard working, cooperative, and support. I am Khalil Rahman Khan, working as Assistant Admin in the Department of English. The working in the Department of English is cordial. The teachers, non-teaching staff, and other students are cooperative. The infrastructure in the department has improved under the able guidance and chairmanship of Professor Hamrizwan Khan. बहुत अच्छा माहौल है, बहुत friendly माहौल है, सब लोग cooperative हैं, teacher, teaching, and non-teaching, दोनों ही लोग बहुत ज़्यादा cooperative. हमको यहाँ काम करते हैं, fourteen years हो चुके हैं, और यहाँ काफी अच्छा माहौल है. Students भी यहाँ के हमारी काफी respect करते हैं, colleagues भी काफी कुछ. नसीहत वगैरह देते हैं लेकिन सही है कुछ हम में बहुत कुछ यहाँ से सीखा मैं 12 साल से काम कर रहा हूँ यहाँ पर डिपार्टमेंट के अंदर माहौल बहुत अच्छा है यहाँ का और बहुत कॉपरेटिव लोग हैं बहुत हेल्प करते हैं बहुत अच्छा डिपार्टमेंट है और फैकल्टी के अलावा सब लोग कॉपरेट करते हैं यहाँ पर काफ़ी अच्छे लोग हैं टीचर भी हमारे चेयरमैन भी सब लोग अच्छे इंस्ट्रक्शन हमारा हम लोगों का बहुत अच्छा है और सब लोग कॉपरेटिव भी हैं और कोई अगर चीज़ होती है तो ऐसा कुछ नहीं कि बहुत ज़्यादा हंगामा या वो रहता है और नॉर्मली सारी चीज़ें रहती हैं। All teachers and research scholars in the Department of English are trying their best to achieve the mantras of quality in higher education today, such as projects, publication, citation, inter-institutional collaboration, consultancy, and uh, linkage with the industry. Department of English is committed to progress and growth in the interest of nation building and global brotherhood. Assalamu alaikum. When I go down memory lane, walk through the long corridors of Faculty of Arts reaching my Department of English, it, it still gives me immense energy. And today we are celebrating 100 years of AMU of Department of English. It is indeed a moment of pride for us, for all of us. Let us celebrate, but at the same time, let us not forget that AMU is not just an institution, it's a dream, a vision of our Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan. Long live AMU, long live Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan. Thanks.